Hey guys, today is July 14th and I've got a few minutes. I'm going to do a quick update. Behind me is, uh, I look like an angel, don't I? <laughs> no, behind me is the 49er room, the new color. It's a, it's a silver dusk with a white trim. And I'm against the wall, actually, uh, not where I was before. And um, I don't know how to help that bright spot, but hopefully you can see me decently. So here's what's going on. I don't, I haven't gone back on my videos to say what we're doing. Uh, Tony and I opened escrow on a manufactured home on two and a half acres. Uh, it's gotten to a point where <clears throat> the guilt for me not being able to juggle the horses into uh, my feet pain, along with. Um, doing some things around the house because we had planned on putting it on the market anyway so this last week we really was hustling but because the agent we hired is actually a longtime family friend uh, she wanted to do pictures before she went on vacation this this week coming week and so i wanted to get both the loud rooms painted and put new plugs and switches in uh, it's the old tan 80s look and so uh, I like to do that with rooms that we redo. I always put in new plugs and switches uh, just to update and know where we're starting at in electrical wise along with the remodel. So in this room, I still have to do the plugs and switches. Um, I need to do the baseboards, the second coat. I did not get it done. So they took pictures above the baseboards. Um, Excuse me, I put in a new ceiling fan. It looks really nice. The coloring in the blades uh, really brings out the room. This is a silver dusk with a white trim. I think I just said that. But it turned out really nice. Uh, the home that we are going to be purchasing, it's going to need some TLC. Uh, we got a really good price uh, for the land of itself. Uh, it's already got a, a pasture, probably an acre of it's on pa a pasture with water to it already. So you can get green grass for them to graze on and then it has a two car garage it's detached uh, but actually inside is the size of a three car garage they just don't have a door for that extra uh, footage uh, has a three car carport uh, the yards are fenced in uh, like I said, the only thing about the place is that uh, he did tell me I was going to have to put a new uh, roof on top of the carport that the wind blew and tore it up. So uh, he hasn't re-roofed that. And that's not a problem. I'm telling you, for the price that we got it for, um, I'm not tripping on that. And uh, so there are some things we're going to change immediately when we look inside the place. It's kind of hard to... You know I do this every time I have a lot on my mind. Um, it's kind of hard to see a place when it, you have furniture and everybody's belongings in it. You can't see it for what it really is. And that's why we rented a storage and we have cleared out both the little rooms. Tony's uh, office only has a little stand for the uh, fax machine and for the supplies to the fax machine. Uh, we ha we've been having to use it for our escrow, so we did not want to tear that down. I still have the desk in the Niner room. I have my guitar and a shadow box that my grandfather made uh, in the closet and my medications in the closet, my CPAP holder, that kind of things that we need every day is in the closet in the Niner room. Um, so that's what's kind of going on. We're going to be working on the backyard now. She did take pictures. Oh, excuse me. She did take pictures of the backyard but it will look so much better when it's trimmed i just ran out of time i did not sleep for three nights because of being down on my knees and my my um feet have to be bent in the manner they were stretched the plantar fascia was stretched and uh they put a new program for my spinal cord stimulator uh two weeks ago and it's called no feet so i don't have that pulse sensation blocking the pain and what it's done for me is it's blocked the nerve pain more than anything. Uh, what I suffer with now is just the fascia pain. And uh, I can sleep in it. So I can keep this on almost 24 hours a day. 
but I still have to be cautious because when when I'm on my feet a long time and I've said this in previous videos uh, my ankles will roll because they're just weak from me having to be off my feet does that mean that I'll never have pain no does it mean it's a miracle worker no uh, but what it means for me is that I can do these projects and get through the day without the pain being off the charts now another thing it does for me is even though my feet are blown up and I can feel it I can feel the heat I can feel the plantar fascia pain um, that nerve pain doesn't keep me awake during the night so I can sleep all night with it on with the pulse sensations I couldn't sleep with that on because every time you'd stretch your spine or something because those two leads stay on your spine uh, the pulse vibration would get stronger and I'd have to turn it up high because the pain was so high but oh it just grabs you you can't even hardly breathe when that thing when you'd stretch and it it just I can't explain it there's just no way of explaining the pain and the stimulator oh I'm really sorry guys I didn't start this until I did the video I, I just don't understand why I do that I just it's frustrating for me to do a video and sit and yawn during the video the whole time but I wanted to give you an update of what's going on and I really wanted to give you an update too of uh, not a rushed update so uh, I am so thankful that I had this repair job done uh, on my erection device because this rod is so much better than my last rod and I don't know if they've improved it or they just didn't get it right I don't know but I am able to wear underwear and not have to worry about anything if that makes sense before I used to hang it to the right and so um, it was always flopped to the right and it just it just looked that way all the time like this and I just didn't like it and it, you know this is lighter than what the other one was and um, I, I'm just happier I, I have a peace of mind now with this one I'm very gentle with it but it doesn't bend like the other one it does it would crunch if I try to wear them down it would crunch up and this one doesn't do that so uh, yeah you know um, I'm just very satisfied in now I have a choice a better choice of um, shorts and how I wear you know my junk and just feel comfortable in my body more and more uh, I can't wait we have oh I've got to tell you guys this the last three weeks hustling and packing this house it we've been in this house it will be 20 years September so we're just going to be shy of a month of being in our home 20 years and the stuff you accumulate that you don't even realize you accumulate but in the midst of that neither one of us have felt like cooking <laughs> and we have ate out and we try to make good choices the best choices for us but you know it's just hard and I'm, I haven't gained any weight or anything and, and in fact I felt like I've lost some but we ate out yesterday and ended up with some a touch of food poison last night I did and um, we figured it was the food and it was horrible and I just told Tony you know when we went to the store yesterday uh, I said I want to get some beet juice I need some juice I feel like we haven't had our greens and uh, my body was just really craving it um, but things are going to slow down now we've got this last week and we have to um, still pack our garage that is going to be it's going to be easy but we are going to have a lot of stuff we have a closet in our garage that we keep all our camping gear because uh, we used to go to the beach a lot we used to camp out there uh, we got a five-man tent I like the dry camping uh, but when we got our Aspen we haven't done a whole lot of that for a long time so uh, I've got all those bins and and just the garage itself is going to be there's going to be a lot of stuff now again there's stuff I can send to the toxic waste you know because I haven't used stuff in a long time 
so that'll clean up that stuff the scrap stuff I'm gonna keep because you just never know and I'm not a hoarder but when I've got wood scraps you just never know when you can use that and I've got a place now where I can not have to put it underneath my truck that's what I do I drive my truck over it and keep it underneath my truck um, so I got a piece of sheet rock to show you some scraps of baseboard that you know some things like that um, two bags of cement <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that's that's our new adventure. And so I don't know if I will be on here again until after the move, until after we get set up with uh, the Internet and all that stuff. But I just want you to know that I'm doing OK. Uh, we're doing OK. Uh, this is a new book, a new chapter in our book, should I say. And we're excited about it. I'm excited to be able to have my horses out there. And it's not too far from my nieces. I can ride my horse to their house. If we all want to go on a ride, we can ride out there. It's just flat land. There's no um, river or anything like we had up there. But it's okay. Our horses will be with us and we can take care of them. We know what's going on with them. And uh, everything will be good. So this is a new chapter in our book. Uh, God's blessed us once again. We fell into this or this fell into our lap. Uh, our house, we were told Friday, probably will not last on the market long at all for all that we have to offer in this neighborhood. It's an older neighborhood. Um, so we're excited. We're excited. It's almost like you're excited and then you got to kind of prepare yourself for something, you know, the obstacles, if there is any. Um, but we're excited. We feel blessed. Uh, and I just thank God that this happened for us. And it's a, like I said, it's a new chapter. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can uh, of what's going on, what's new in our life in the next couple months. But until then, you guys take it one day at a time and always make your journey as simple as possible. We'll talk to you later. Bye.